This committee of six adopted the rules, and then that was it for today. They have a lot of reading to do, a mountain of evidence, and take a look at the drama that came up with the committee. One of the two under the gun showed up, State Rep Cindy Gamrat from Western Michigan. You're going to hear from her in a second. Committee members were given binders with hundreds of pages of evidence, documents that outline allegations of misconduct and misuse of taxpayer resources to cover up their affair. That could be a crime. The committee will call witnesses. Both reps can testify if they wish. Representative Todd Corser did not show up in Lansing today. Last night, he called this process a kangaroo court. But this is a tribunal, not a court. And if the two resign, this would all be stopped. We are exploring all of the options short of an expulsion. It's not easy um, trying to understand the process better. Um, to understand the allegations that have brought against me better um, so that I can help be part of that solution. Is so. it awkward for you to be here? It's, it's hard. It's hard. This isn't about politics. It's uh, not supposed to be a celebrity show here. This is about the integrity of the institution. And I take that weight very, very seriously. And these are very serious criminal allegations and to really get to the bottom of this, to really get to the truth, we need a law enforcement agency with subpoena power, with the ability to compel people to tell the truth and compel the disclosure of documents to get involved. Is there anything that Courser and Gamrat could say to get out of this bind? Uh, resign. That'd probably be it. So next hour at five, what's next? Suffice it to say, it's going to be a busy next couple of weeks. Uh, Stephen, we Heather? Certainly believe that is correct.